This is the typical histological appearance of a retinoblastoma. The incidence of retinoblastoma is one in around 16 to 18,000 live births per year and it accounts for around 3% of all childhood cancers with the same number of males as females being affected. They are the most common intraocular neoplasm of children and arise from the photoreceptor cells in the retina and they are usually diagnosed between the ages of 16 and 24 months and overall 30% of retinoblastomas are bilateral. 60% of retinoblastomas arise sporadically and 40% have a familial autosomal dominant inheritance and in these cases 90% are bilateral. Patients with familial retinoblastoma are at increased risk of other malignancy including tumours of the bone, soft tissue and pineal gland. The inheritance of retinoblastoma is interesting. The RB gene or retinoblastoma gene is located on the long arm of chromosome 13 and the location is band 13q14. The retinoblastoma gene codes for the retinoblastoma or RB nucleoprotein and this suppresses cell division so the RB gene is a tumour suppressor gene and both RB genes must be lost for the tumour to develop. In order for a retinoblastoma to arise there need to be two hits and this is known as the two hit hypothesis. In familiar retinoblastomas the first hit is when the mutant allele is passed on from a parent and this will affect every cell in the body. The second hit is not inherited, this is a somatic mutation. And in familial retinoblastomas the tumours are usually bilateral but in sporadic retinoblastomas the hits are both somatic mutations that are required and sporadic retinoblastomas are usually unilateral and unifocal. Retinoblastomas may present clinically with a white pupil and this is known as leukocoria where the reflected light coming off the retina is white not black. It may present with strabismus if the macula is involved and in advanced cases retinoblastoma may present as an orbital mass. It's important to note that retinoblastomas have a high cure rate, in fact 98% of patients will be cured of retinoblastoma by surgery and or radiotherapy. On gross examination there is a mass of white tissue replacing the vitreous humour. The retinoblastoma may spread along the optic nerve to the brain. The growth pattern may be flat, diffuse or elevated and familiar retinoblastomas especially may be multicentric. Another feature of retinoblastomas is the presence of necrosis. Histologically retinoblastomas show the features typical of the malignant small round dark cell tumours of childhood and these include small dark round nuclei with scanty cytoplasm. But more specific histological features include areas of necrosis and florette and a rosette formation called Flexner Wintersteiner rosettes. This is a low power view of a retinoblastoma. The tumour is replacing the vitreous humour and towards the bottom left of the picture you can see the optic nerve that the tumour reaches but does not invade. 
One of the typical histological features of retinoblastoma are the areas of necrosis, and these are the rather featureless areas that are staining an orangey red colour. And here is another classical histological feature of retinoblastoma, and that is the Flexner Wintersteiner rosettes. In summary, retinoblastomas are malignant intraocular tumours of childhood. 60% are sporadic, where they are usually unilateral and unifocal. 40% are hereditary, where they tend to be bilateral. And the vast majority of retinoblastomas are cured.